cool ocean breezes, warm white sands. There's nothing better than living near the water. Oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, it looks like the water is your backyard. So you've decided to take the plunge and make your dreams of living near the beach a reality. Wow, I really love this view. Look how close we are. I mean, the beach is right there. And for the exact same budget, you can either live nice and small on the water. The light is incredible. Yes. A little larger, a 10 minute walk away. This area in here is just fantastic. I definitely could see our whole family gathering here. Or in the spacious home of your dreams. But it's a five minute drive from the beach and no ocean in sight. Not sure about being this far from the beach. But that's a lot of houses. They are all in the same price range. All great options. I'm not up for projects. I want to spend my time out here on a boat. So the real question is, how close can I beach? I love the beach here. You never can get tired of this view. It's awesome. I know. I know. I could look at it all day. I'm Jason. And I'm Beth. We actually met working in the emergency medical field. He called me every day for three months. I struck out many, 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 many times. This is going to be fantastic to be able to come here whenever we want. But here we are 20 years later. We're moving from Irvington, Alabama to Dolphin Island, Alabama. On the southernmost point of Alabama, you'll find local secret Dauphin Island. This quiet island of about 1,200 residents is the ideal beach retreat, with friendly neighbors, famous deep sea fishing, and fun activities for everyone to enjoy. You'll never want to leave the sunset capital of Alabama. I'm so glad we decided to move down here. Me too. Look at the this, water today. This is so relaxing. This is going to be so perfect for us. It is. Deciding to move to Dolphin Island is a dream of both of ours. For the last 20 plus years, we focused so much on our careers, work, and kids. Now we're just ready for some us time. The water feels so good today. It does. I love it. It's so refreshing. Just be careful and don't fall. Go yeah, for hold a swim. on to me. I might float out to sea. <laughs> I'd save you. You would? Yeah, maybe. I'm glad. <laughs> I get to spend the rest of my life with this beauty sitting next to me on the beach. To get started on their search, Beth and Jason are meeting with local realtor Jessica Clevenger to get a sense of what their budget can get them in the area. So what are you looking for in a home? Well, I would want at least three bedrooms and two bathrooms. That way we could accommodate overnight visitors and I'd want one of the rooms to be able to be a small office have toes in the sand. I mean, I really want to be on the water. We're on a boat and would really like to have a space for the boat. Definitely turnkey, no projects. So how much are you guys looking to spend on a house? I think right now we do want to stay around $350,000. Well, I definitely think we can make that happen. We're awesome. so excited to get started. I'm taking Beth and Jason to see Blue Crush. Blue Crush is right on the sand and has views of the Gulf and the Bay. They're going to love the open concept. Blue Crush is a little bit more than Beth and Jason want to spend, but it gets their toes in the sand. Jessica, I love this area of the island. This is a very nice location. So this would be considered on the Gulf side? This is the Gulf side. But it looks like we have good views at the Bay side also. You do. The house. It is four bedroom, two bath. It's 1,683 square feet. The magic question is how much they want for it. $365,000. Wow. That's at the top of our budget. Yeah. It is, but you are just steps from the beach, and you've got a deck on the front, deck on the back. But Jessica, I'm not noticing anywhere to store my boat. Is there anywhere around here I could do that? Yes, we do have a marina just down the street. OK, we'll have to take that in consideration. Well, take a look and let me know what you think. OK, great. Oh, wow. wow. I love how it's so open in here. The light is incredible. Yes. I love the tile floors. Yeah, that's really nice. Plenty of room. Yeah. I could see our sectional couch in here and, and being able to watch TV. I could see us making this work. I like the dining space. We could put our big table here and have all the kids around and just have that real beach vibe. And, and then the view. I mean, look, you're sitting is, here eating, just looking at the, the, the view gulf. of the gulf is just great, right. watching the waves come in. 
this counter in the here is a great workspace in the kitchen for us to actually prepare foods and still be a part of everything going on when everyone's here gathering. I love the countertops. The only thing is I wish they were granite. Yeah, and that's something that we would need to talk about with this being closer to the top of our budget. That would be something that would be an additional expense. That's something to take in consideration. Yeah. And, and the view from that room was nice, but in here you're looking at a house. And if that's a rental house, there's going to be people in there every week. But I like the appliances in here. Um, looks like they all pretty much match and it's trying to be real cohesive. You know, with a little paint on the cabinets, this space could definitely work for us. But I do like this area. And the tile continues through the hallway. Uh, this is a nice size bathroom. I like that it has a shower and a tub coming from the beach, and that's yeah. a good option. And I like how they did the mirrors in this space. I think that's really neat. I agree. Oh, this is a really bright and airy bedroom. I like this space a lot. It has a beachy feel to it. Right. This is definitely a good feel for our guest bedroom. All right. Let's go upstairs. I like the stairs. I like that they're wooden and they don't have carpet on them. Yeah. I like that you can oversee the whole living room. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice room. This would be our room. Yeah, this Just, would be the master here. Yeah. I think it'll hold our king size bed. Yeah, and even a sitting area. It's got a beautiful view of the Gulf side over here. It does. Looks like it's going to need some work, though. Air conditioner looks like it's leaking around the vent. It's a problem with it being at the top of our budget already. Oh, I like this bathroom. It's real airy and nice and open. It's big. It's yeah. a big area. But it's only got one sink, so we might need to move you downstairs. Uh, probably what <laughs> would happen. But I do like the jetted tub. I like know. that, too. So there's a window right here. It's like you can see the neighbor's door from here. I don't think they want to see you naked, that's for sure. That's why we'd leave them shut. <laughs> uh, what's in here? This room is really nice. It's a big space. And again, Beautiful you have view. a great view out of this room. But uh, I'm not crazy about another guest room, though, being off the master that's bathroom. True. And then, you know, there's really no privacy. Right. This space might actually be better for the office. I agree. I think you could just turn the whole upstairs into like a master suite and let the guests stay downstairs. Yeah. Wow, I really love this view. Even though they have a house right here, we still have a very unobstructed view of the Gulf. I agree. And look how close we are. I mean, the beach is right there. This is definitely a, a nice outdoor space where we could have barbecues and we could actually invite people over. I agree. What a big deck. So would this view be worth not having a place to dock your boat? As long as you'd be happy with the view, I'd find something to do with the boat. That's a good answer. <laughs> so what did you think about the house? Jessica, we really like this house. We like that the upstairs you can make like a master suite. Yeah, the views are amazing from the house. I do have a few concerns, though. There's a little bit of maintenance that need to be done, and I really want to move here to, to fish and play in the water, not to do repairs. Well, we have some more houses to see. Yeah. I think we'd like to see something else. Beth and Jason are heading Bayside to see a home that offers more for their budget. Oh, this is so nice. And it's only a 10-minute walk to the beach. Wow, look at this view. Beth and Jason are searching Dolphin Island, Alabama for their perfect home, which may or may not be right on the ocean. As they check out options further from the beach, they'll have to decide if the extra space is worth the longer walk to the sand. I'm taking Beth and Jason to see Coral Cove. This listing is a great fit because it's right on the bay and a short distance to the beach. It has great decks for grilling, a place for Jason to store his boat, and a space for Beth's office. Welcome to Coral Cove. It's a three bedrooms, two baths, priced at $359,000. Oh, oh, that's good. I'm seeing water, Jessica. Is there a place for the boat? There is a dock, but it does need some repairs. OK, that's a high ticket item at that price. We'll have something we'll just have to look at. Yeah. So how far is it from the beach? Uh, you're just a 10-minute walk to the beach. Oh, huh? that's good. Well, why don't y'all go ahead and take a look? Thank you. 
Oh, this is so nice. Love the colors. It kind of gives it like a beachy feel. Absolutely. Look at the fish. Oh, holy wallpaper. <laughs> I would probably want to tone this down just a little bit. I do like the space though. It's got a full tub and shower, but we would have to do something with the wallpaper. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice bedroom. Wow, it has a real good size to it and it'll be good for a guest room. The only problem is, is the view. I mean, the view is just up the road. Well, our guests might not stay too long. Well, that wouldn't <laughs> be a problem at all. But I think this would be a great guest room space. It could, yes, it could. Wow, look at how open this is. This is fantastic. It is, and look at the kitchen at all the counter space. This is so nice. Look at the appliances, they all match. And there's so much cabinet space here. But a holy wallpaper again. I'm not sure if I like that a whole lot. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not up for projects. I want to spend my time out here on a boat. But one thing I can say past that is look at the dining room. I definitely could see our whole family gathering here, and I think that this would be the entertainment space that we could use. I agree, I agree. And this area in here is just fantastic. I could see us actually hanging out in here. This is a really nice wet bar. I agree, I could see us utilizing that a lot. And just look at the amazing view from here. Let's go out there and check it out. Okay. Wow, look at this view. Oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, it yeah. looks like the water is your backyard. I'm just imagining being out here in the morning having a cup of coffee. I mean, and just looking at the beautiful view. Right, it looks very family friendly. I see kids out there playing and jet skis and everything. And I see the dock and I see what Jessica was talking about. There's no boat lift and, and the dock looks like it needs work. That's a big ticket item. You know, this house is already at the top of our budget and I just don't know if we have room to, to do it. It's another big project. So, yeah. I mean, really, though, you can't beat this view. It is spectacular. Well, let's check out the rest of the house. OK. I like the fireplace. I know on Dolphin Island, we wouldn't necessarily use it because the weather's really nice down here. But I think it'd be great at Christmas time to hang stockings from. And, you know, speaking of stockings, look at the multicolors in here. I mean, it's eight different shades. But I think this is just a great place for all of us to gather. So. I do too. I do too. I love the stained glass window. This really adds a nice charm with the fish being very coastal. I agree. It has a good beachy feel to it. Yes. And look at the ceiling. The ceilings are really high. It definitely adds to the open feel. Now, I really like this room. Oh, I do too. You know, it's really bright. It's just a small space. But I think this could be a great office space. It could. I could see us using it as an office. It'd be a great workspace for you. Wow, look at all the pink. Oh, wow, holy pink and wallpaper again. The wallpaper's got to go. Yeah, I agree. Maybe painting it a more coastal color, but I'd like the pink to go also. I hope you know how to use a paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> this room is so beautiful. Well, I guess this would be the master. I like this color of the room. I think it's it's really nice. But once again, it has carpet, but I mean, you can't beat the view. I mean, it goes right out onto a deck. You want to check that out? Yeah, let's go out here. Look at this view. Wow. I could see us sitting out here watching the sunrise. I can too. We said, you know, we wanted to be on the water, but you know, this is not the Gulf. You know, we're not on the beach. The beach is a walk from here. Yeah, but being able to get in the water straight from our house is really a plus. I agree. Well, let's go find Jessica and we'll see what she has to say. OK, sounds good. So what did y'all think? We like the house and we think that the open floor plan is really something nice. And I love the pine floors. Yeah, I did too. This really checked a lot of boxes off. I really like what we saw. This is definitely one we want to consider. Beth and Jason have seen a small oceanfront home with sand outside their front door a bayside home with space for their boat, but it's a 10 minute walk from the beach. Will an updated home with four bedrooms and plenty of outdoor living space be worth getting in their car to go to the beach? Oh, this is so pretty. The next property that I'm showing Beth and Jason is Seafoam Cottage. It is not on the water, but this house is completely turnkey. It has two porches and has a lot of island charm. This is Seafoam Cottage. 
It's four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a little over 2,800 square feet. Wow, that's nice size. Yeah. It's turnkey, move-in ready, and listed at $350,000. Wow, that's right in our budget. But how far are we from the beach? It's a five-minute car ride to the beach. Not sure about being this far from the beach, but we'll have to see how the inside looks. Well, why don't you go ahead? Great. Sounds Thank good. you. Thank you. Oh, this is so pretty. It really is. I really love the tile floors. Yes, that's really nice. And then it leads into this room, which is a wonderful living space. Seems like a big area, too. I really think it would fit, you know, us and our family. You'd really be able to entertain here, especially with the wet bar. And this is turnkey ready so far. It looks like there's no projects to do in here. I agree. I think this fits what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, this is a big dining area. Wow, it's actually Ooh. like a breakfast nook, though. I mean, it's attached to the kitchen. I love the kitchen. You know, I love white cabinets, and this is really nice in here. It's not the open floor plan that I wanted, so. Yeah, but I feel like it's a big enough area where your family's going to be able to be in here with you. Everyone can come in here. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is another dining space in here. It's so bright and airy. I could see this maybe being a sunroom that we could sit in and enjoy coffee in the mornings. You know, it might even could be an office. Definitely would be something that we could consider. Mm -hmm. Looks like I the agree. next area is off of the living area. Yeah. Oh, this is a pretty bedroom. Wow, this is a very big area. Plenty of room for, you know, our king bed. Absolutely, but it's right here close to the living room, and so um, that could pose a little bit of a problem. Yeah, but uh, I still get that real coastal beachy feeling here. I do, I do. Oh, look at the double vanity. This is fantastic. A lot of room, and look at the big jetted tub. Oh, yes. I think it's even big enough for both of us. Well, we could put bubbles in there and have champagne. Yeah, I agree. I love that there's an additional shower in here, um, but there's not a lot of privacy when it comes to the commode area. But it is a great big bathroom. I could really see us using this. I like that it's big. Wow, this is a very big staircase. Yeah, it's very wide, but there again, carpet. Yeah, that's really hard when you're living somewhere on the island, but you know, this is kind of far from the beach. Yeah, but still you can just see us tracking sand up here. Yeah. This is a very big bedroom up here. It really is. I mean, to be a guest room or a second bedroom, it's a really a big space. It is. It's too big for an office, but I definitely think we could use it for a spare room. I could see it being utilized. Yeah. You know, I'm just, like I said, concerned about the size of the house and, you know, the upkeep. What's it going to take for you to keep it clean? Your help. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know how that goes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you know? another big bedroom. Look how pretty this is, though. It's got cathedral ceilings. It's got a very big, nice window. And it actually is really big. Look at how many beds they've got. What a great big area as a guest room. Absolutely. And no projects in here, too. No, not at all. Not at all. Love the beachy feel. Look at this nice bathroom. It's really big. And another double vanity. Wow, that would be nice for the guests to have. I think that this is a, a very nice area up here. Yeah. Wow, look at how pretty this porch is. I agree. What a big outdoor area. We could actually put a grill up here and have a space that we could just sit and visit with our family. It is, but you know, I mean, it's a great big area and I can see us utilizing this outdoor space, but look at your views. Yeah, I don't see a view of the water or the beach. so. We would really want to talk about how we utilize this space out here to get the most use out of it. All right, well, let's go talk to Jessica. Okay. So what did you think about the house? We love the house. It's very big and spacious, and it has a real good coastal feel. And uh, we really like the fact that this house is turnkey. The problem is it's still no place for my boat, and we're quite a ways from the beach. But that's a lot of house, and it's right in our price range. This is definitely one we will consider. Absolutely. Beth and Jason are heading to the Gulf to slow life down a bit. They've seen a small oceanfront home with sand outside their front door, a bayside home with space for their boat that's a 10-minute walk from the beach, and a spacious home with tons of updates, but it's a five-minute drive to the water. All three offer the beach lifestyle, but they can only pick one. I think we have some great options. Absolutely. I can't wait to be down here living full time. Beth and Jason want the beach lifestyle full time, but that doesn't necessarily mean living beachfront. Space for their boat and being move-in ready also factor into their wish list. 
with a budget of around $350,000. Dolphin Island, Alabama offers an array of options in their budget. I sure enjoy being down here on the beach and having our toes in the sand. I know, I can't wait to be down here full time and I think we have some great options. So what do you think about Blue Crush? I love that you can see the bay side and the gulf side, but we also had views of the neighbors. They were really close. And it wasn't quite moving ready. We was gonna have to make a few repairs. But can't beat just walking outside and being there on the beach. So what do you think about Coral Cove? It had a good entertainment space, and the view was absolutely wonderful out those windows. I agree. The views were amazing there, but it did need some work. But we would have to go 10 minutes to get to the beach if we were walking. But it had a boat dock that you wanted for your boat. So what did you think about Seafoam Cottage? Now, that was a huge house. There was so much room there. We could have family and friends over. They could spend the night. Pretty much, it was turnkey. Yeah, but you know, it was a five minute drive to the beach. But I think we have some great options. So I say we just enjoy the sunset. Absolutely. This has been our dream home. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life here with my wife. We, we chose Coral Cove. We chose this house because it's only a 10 minute walk from the beach and it's right on the water. I'm so happy this house had a space for our boat. We've been able to go out fishing. We pull the kids on the tubes. It's just been a blast to be here. Bob, Bob, look what he's got. What you got, man? Get you gonna play the game? Since we bought the house, the outdoor space has been great. We've invited friends and family down. We've been able to have cookouts. Jay, those smell amazing. Yes, indeed. Finally having a home on the island is so great because as soon as we cross that bridge, we just let all our stress and worries go away. This is so great, Jason. I'm so glad we did this. Me too. I'm so glad. We're finally living the dream.